Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining us on Carl's Off The Grid. I'm Carl and the purpose of my channel is I'm going to be documenting uh, me um, building and putting together an off the grid cabin and it's going to be done on a budget. So I figured while I'm doing this, there's got to be other folks out there that are interested in doing the same. And hopefully I can use this not only the document for my uh, family, uh, the steps that I'm going through to do this, but to bring in some ideas that hopefully might be able to help out other people that are, are doing the same. Uh, so on this week's episode, um, what I'd like to do is um, I want to talk about how I'm going to bring a little bit of uh, modern convenience into my cabin at a cheap price, and that is we're going to be introducing solar. And I picked up a pretty cheap uh, solar setup um, this week, and I'd like to share that with you. I'm just looking for the basics. I need something that's going to be able to um, maybe charge my cell phone, uh, charge a computer. I'd like to go on a TV at night and watch the news in case there's some harsh weather or something coming in. And that's about it. So it's going to be a really basic uh, solar setup that I'm looking for. Um, in my research, I've found solar setups that start at $5,000 and, um, you know, you don't get a whole lot for that. You're maybe doing your lights, a refrigerator, um, maybe a TV and, you know, uh, you're set up for maybe charging your batteries on your cell phones and computers. And uh, I'm kind of excited. I went to a place that I didn't expect uh, would have anything to do with solar. Uh, it was brought to my attention um, via YouTube. And uh, I seen it in another guy's uh, video and he was kind of thinking about using it at his cabin. And uh, I thought, you know what? This might be a good setup and it might fit in perfect for something that I'm looking for and uh, it may be able to help you out too. Um, it's a budget uh, solar kit that uh, we can uh, power everything from our TVs to charging our cell phones, our computers, um, running our lights at night, and, uh, and not have to depend on anybody or anything other than the sun. And so I uh, look forward to talking with you a little bit more about this and uh, let's head back uh, to the man cave and uh, I'll break out the, the system that I picked up and hopefully it's something that might be able to be helpful to you guys. And uh, if you're looking to do something on a, a budget without spending a ton of money, I think this might be helpful for you. Uh, for you. So uh, stay tuned and let's head back uh, to, the, uh, to the house and I'll show you what we got. Okay, we're back at the man cave, and uh, I want to show you the solar setup that I that I settled on. And as mo many of you uh, probably already guessed, I'm gonna be talking about one of the more cheaper, but also one of the more reliable solar setups that you can get at a budget, and that is um, the one and only Harbor Freight 100 watt. Uh, solar kit. It comes with uh, comes with the four panels. Comes with a charge controller. It comes with um, two lights uh, per kit, and all the needed wiring that you need for it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you a review on this and tell you what we think. Um, I'm basically going to use today as just an ex as an ex instructional video showing you how to put it together. Um, the test is going to come once we get the cabin put up. I'm going to be running all my power equipment off here. When we first get the cabin set up, all of our lighting is going to be ran off here. And um, I'm planning on using um, two kits. I purchased two kits. They're $146 a kit, I believe. Um, and um, uh, the only thing that the kits don't come with is your power inverter, uh, which I picked up a 2000 watt power inverter and I think I paid $65, it might have been $45 or $65. Um, sorry about that. It's the Jupiter 2000 watt kit. Um, this, um, um, 
inverter comes with three uh, 110 plugs on it and it has a USB port off on the side and then the charge controllers that come with this uh, solar setup those have two USB ports for charging cell phones and computers and then um, it has additional wires where you can hook a bar up off of it and and wire as many uh, low voltage lights and stuff as, as you want to it. So it's a pretty cool uh, setup. You know, you're looking at, I bought two kits, that's roughly $300. Um, it doesn't come with the marine deep cycle batteries. I had to purchase my own deep cycle batteries. Actually, I didn't purchase them. I had some leftover ones laying around the house. I'll be running uh, two of those off this setup. Um, and then the inverter is, uh, is the other thing that you need to purchase so um, let's go ahead and uh, I took the stuff out of the packaging because I don't want to waste too much time on this video uh, boring your socks off I want to just kind of dive into the meat of things and we're gonna put this together real time and we'll see how long it takes and uh, then the big workout is once we get into the north woods uh, then we'll see how much of our equipment we can run off of it okay I got everything laid out. You can see here's the four panels. I uh, just took them out of the packaging. And um, I'm going to grab the camera here for a second. I want you to see something. Well, I guess you can see it. Look right there. See that little blue light that's on on the panel? That's to indicate that this thing is already working. Um, right now we have very low light conditions. Um, it might look bright in here. That's because I have my basement lights on. I have one window in the basement over here and uh, It's about 415 the Sun's already starting to go down and there's very uh, limited Light and these things already are, 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 are Picking up power and ready to charge So here's everything that comes in the kit um, Plus a couple goodies that I got like we talked about uh, my deep cycle battery. That's mine that I had to purchase um, that does not come in the kit and then the uh, the inverter that I had to pe uh, purchase separately and like I said it was anywhere from 45 to 65 dollars for a 2000 watts inverter um, all these wiring harnesses they all come in the solar kit you basically have everything you need to put it together um, other than the wires to connect the um, the inverter to the battery those you have to come up with something and um, and uh, yeah otherwise you know we've got everything here we're ready to start so this thing here this big um, mess of wires it's to tie four solar panels together it's pretty easy uh, you know any anybody can figure this out you don't have to be real mechanical um, these just plug each socket plugs into each other and it can only plug in one way uh, so there's no way of you being able to mess it up we'll hook up all all four because I want to see this is my first time ever seeing one of these kits I want to be honest and I want to give you a, an idea how long it would take to hook something like this up So there, all four panels are connected, and you have just one wire now coming off of that big conglomeration of wires. I believe each wire comes with an additional 20 feet of wiring, so if you want to store these far away from your uh, little cabin, your RV, your tent if you're camping, um, you know, you don't have to have them right on top of you. You'll be able to move these things around and um, set them wherever you want so that they uh, can catch the sun. The backs of these panels all come with uh, a little stand that's built onto the back of them. So you can see they're all standing up right now. I have them propped a little bit forward just so that you can the camera can pick them up. Um, so there we go. We got everything together in this one wire. Then they give you an adapter that you plug all the solar panels into. Here again, get a little closer. You can see what the ends of these plugs look like. There's no way to screw it up. 
anybody can just push those together and there you go now you're left with one end that one end plugs right into um, your charge controller and it says solar input right there I don't know if the camera can pick that up but you gotta trust me on it it's a solar input there you go panels are all connected so I'm gonna disconnect it right now um, to show you the next set of wiring that comes with the kit and for a lack of better words it comes with uh, these two connectors that can snap onto your battery. I sometimes call them roach clips or whatever. The hippies will love that term. I don't know what the right term is for it, but that's what we're going to use. And then on the charge controller, um, right at these two, there's a picture right above it of a battery, a car battery. I don't know if you can see it or not, but trust me on it. There's a picture there. And it has... Um, a positive and a negative and the wires are com come marked stock from the factory with a red and a black that red is going to be your positive and the black is going to be your negative so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up these screws in the front this will be the one tool that I need out of the whole setup is a Phillips screwdriver and I'll slide that wire, if I can get my fat fingers out of the way, slide that wire right there and tighten up the screw. That's one wire in. And then I'll take the negative, put the negative on the opposite side. I guess I didn't have it tightened all that well. Give me a second where I'm not doing this here directly on camera it's gonna be a pain in the butt for you guys because you can't see what I'm doing but it's gonna be easier for me because I'm old and I don't have my reading glasses with me okay that's a negative there's the positive so both are connected right here where it shows the battery so now from this point this charge controller gets connected directly to the battery so the positive goes on the side that has the plus side the negative goes on the side that has the the negative um, terminal so those are both connected. Now that we have some place for the power to go, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in the, the solar panels. And it's showing that my battery needs severe charging. It's way down on voltage. But basically, this is all set up now. We're ready to go. It's ready to do its thing. Um, the only thing that I haven't hooked up, and uh, I still need to make the purchase of it, is the the uh, inverter to change your um, your DC, your 12 volts into AC DC or whatever it is. Um, so what you'll need for this are there's just two wires that connect to the back. And, um, and you'll take these two wires and wire them directly with more clips like these right to the battery. And then you're done. Pretty simple. Uh, I can't see the time on the camera. It's uh, about eight minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, that's as long as it took us to hook up this kit. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, not to be real repetitive, but the reason I chose this kit is I don't have a lot of need for power. Um, I'm going to be running my uh, power tools off here. I'll use my skill saw, um, some drills I'll run off here. 
Um, I'll be running my lighting, which the kit does come with uh, two LED lights. And these LED lights are nice. They plug directly right into the um, charge controller. And they can be turned on and off with a button on the charge controller. Um, this one up here where it has a picture of the lights. I don't know if you can see it up here. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, we can turn it on by this red button that's on the top here. Whoa. Or um, the cord. Let me move this light away so that we're not blinded. The cord has its own little switch too right here that we can flip on and off that's on the cord. So if you have these lights strung out on the top of your camper or the top of your, your little off the grid cabin or on the top of your tent and you don't want to get up and get to the um, inverter, um, um, yeah, then you can just use this switch. And you can see that's pretty darn light. That's incredible. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's our first uh, little bit of power off this thing. That's pretty sweet. So this will give me all the power I need, like we talked about. It'll do my power tools. I'll be able to run my TV off here. Um, if your kids come up and they want to have a gaming system, they can run that off here. I can run my computer off here, charge our cell phones, charge our laptop. Um, yeah and take care of our basic needs. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I have no options for power, uh, but this right here solves every need that I have. Um, I also have, for emergency, I've got a, a 2000 watt Honda generator um, that I just picked up off of, uh, I think it was Facebook Marketplace. I have a really small 1000 watt generator that'll basically do lights and, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, primarily, everything I, I run, I don't want to have to run for gas for the generators. Um, this is going to be it. So um, I'm excited to put this together. And um, uh, in the summer, once she warms up a little bit, we'll, we'll give her a workout. And we'll put it live on camera here, and uh, we'll show you how it responds. So... All right. I hope this helps you out and gives you an idea if you're working on a budget. Um, what you can do to to get solar to your place um, It's relatively cheap Easy to put together um, any moron could do it. You just saw me Go ahead and get this stuff all put together and it didn't take me much more than eight minutes to do it So that's our topic for this week. Uh, I appreciate you guys joining me and sticking with me um, And I was excited to, to show you this um, anytime I can find a good deal like this, um, I look forward uh, to sharing it with other people. And uh, I like working with other YouTubers and, and people that are trying to live off the grid or that just love camping or being in the outdoors. Man, if I can help you save a buck, we'll do it. And we'll give this thing a good workout. We'll see how she responds. So, All right, thanks again for joining me. Um, if you like these types of videos, by all means, Please subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and um, if you click the thumbs up button on the bottom uh, YouTube will start noticing that people are watching me and uh, we can get the ball rolling here I look forward to working with you guys and I work for, look forward to getting this channel rolling and uh, yeah it'll be a good good experience for us all thanks again and we'll see you next time on Carl's off the grid